So I thought today we'd just build a quick A-frame just to show you the basic methods of finding contour lines or a level line Good morning folks, how are we all? So today we're just doing a few little odds and ends. Uh, first thing is, we're looking at building a big shed here um, to house all this stuff and a little workshop for me. So the first step is, I want the shed slab to be level with this track on this far side here. So we need to establish a level line from that end to this end. Now we could do that with the dumpy or laser but uh, everyone has access to these tools so we might just knock up a quick A-frame, A-frame level and just show you how to make one, pretty basic and uh, how they operate. Alright we'll go from there. So all we're doing basically is getting some wood, some string, a few screws or some nails and a little heavy weight and uh, we'll go from there. So what I've got is I've got four pieces of timber. Um, they're each cut at 1200 millimeters long or approximately four foot. They all have a 45 degree angle on each end. We have some screws, a weight, which is just an off cut piece of steel that I had in the shed and some string which turns out to be uh, fishing braid. So what we'll do is we'll screw it in this basic shape and that's why it's called an A-frame because it looks like a letter A. So we'll get that underway and we'll touch back shortly. Okay so we've made our A-frame. It is uh, three bits of timber approximately 1200 millimeters or four foot each They've each been cut on a 45 degree angle on each end and screwed together in the shape of an A, hence the A-frame. We then have a piece of string hanging here from the centre onto a weight, which is just a scrap bit of steel I had in the shed, and that just hangs down. Now what I've done to, to calibrate it is I've made two flat patches under each leg and then where the string hangs, you put a pencil mark on here. So we'll put a pencil mark just there. So that's where the string is going past this bit of wood. We then rotate it. Hundred and eighty degrees. I'm just using this as a prop just to hold this so I've got my hands are free. We stop the string from swaying. Now I'm just leaning the A-frame forward a little bit just so the string's not rubbing against here. It's got about quarter inch clearance couple of millimetre clearance off this horizontal piece of wood. So when it stops swaying, we put another mark there, and then basically halfway between those two marks is level. Now we can get rid of the prop. We don't need the prop anymore. So you would start from one point, one side, can be any side you like or a given height that you've got like a water level or a creek line or something a contour line that you want to continue that level across the paddock if you're uh, making a swale for example in our case we just want to get a level line in front of where we're going to start digging out for our shed so I've got to move this a little bit to get it to that center line so if I just move it only a little bit, 
I know that between that mark there and this mark here is level. So what I do now is I bring it to here. So this leg goes on the little level bit of earth. And now I know that I want to go down downhill with that side. So I'll just go down a little bit. Just wait for the string to stop. Lovely, smack on the pencil line. So you can see that you're working your way from point to point you go as far as you want. You can make these things as big as you want. I just made a small one because I only had some little off cuts of, of, uh, of wood. So if you don't have a dumpy or a laser or any way of finding level, you can make these out of anything. So let's go put it into practice up at the uh, front of the shed and we'll see how we go for getting a, a contour line or a level line uh, where I want this shed pad to be. Alright, so I'm just on here where, I, where the track is, where I want the concrete slab to end up being level with the track. So I'm just going to wander off in the distance and take the little A-frame with me and get some marks across the front here. And we'll see, uh, just see what a level line looks like. Okay, so you can see we've got seven marks on the ground and they're about five feet apart each. Uh, oh, 1500 mil apart, roughly one and a half meters, so. So I know that that line is on contour, is level. So simple thing like that, you can get level anywhere, easy. Just like that. Thanks folks.